This was me just a few months ago this year. And this is me now. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Until I did this comparison, I didn't realize how much my skin has improved. I knew my skin was improving because I've changed my entire routine and lifestyle, which I'm going to be showing you in this video. Many of you had already observed and you wanted me to do a skincare routine. I'm going to be showing you everything that I do in a day to take care of my skin and my health. So without further delay, let's begin. My routines are pretty simple and straightforward. It's probably not what you're thinking. It's not complicated at all. And I'm going to start with my nighttime routine. The first thing that I do is change into my robe and tie my hair back because in case something gets on my clothes, it's easy to wash it off. And if you observe, I don't have any jewelry on. I've taken everything off. I want to feel as comfortable as possible. And then I remove my makeup using a cleansing balm. And the one that I use regularly is the Elmis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I take a teaspoon full of this and I rub it in my hands as you can see it looks very oily and then I massage it on my face avoiding my eyes and that instantly disintegrates all the makeup that I have on my face and it's very easy to wipe off and the reason I don't use it on my eyes is it, it does burn so I use something milder on my eyes which I'll be showing you in just a bit. You don't have to use the same cleansing balm. You don't have to use any of the products that I'm using. I'm going to link some drugstore dupes as well in the description box below. So do check that out. After I've massaged it on my face, I use a soft microfiber makeup wipe cloth to wipe it off. And as you can see, it instantly comes off. This is a super soft microfiber cloth, which is very gentle on the face and you can wash and reuse this. So that's really cool. I have a couple sets of this. And again, I bought this off of Amazon and I'm going to link everything down below in the description box. As you can see, it's removed all of the makeup, including the waterproof makeup that I had on my face. And then I wash this off and I reuse it. And for my eyes, the only thing that works is micellar cleansing water. You can also use a mild eye makeup cleanser, but this is the only thing that works on my eyes. It doesn't irritate my eyes it's very mild i use a little bit on a cotton pad and i press my eye gently with the pad for about 15 seconds and then i very gently wipe it off and as you can see with one wipe it removes all of the makeup and that includes your waterproof mascara if i have kajal or coal in my waterline i take the micellar cleansing water with a q-tip and i run it along my waterline a couple times and everything comes right off now that i've removed all of the makeup it's time to wash my face or cleanse my face and for that i like to use a gel based cleanser my favorite is tula this is the purifying face cleanser and here's a trick now these cleansers are very expensive if you want to save some money use a foam maker rather than using the cleanser directly on your face this is how a foam maker looks this was i think a couple bucks again bought it off of amazon it comes as a set of two it's a jar and it comes with a lid on top and something to press and make the foam it comes with a marking to fill water so i fill water up to that mark and then i mix in just a tad bit of the cleanser in this and then I keep pressing on the top till the foam is formed. It's that easy. And you can see how much of foam is in there. And I can use this at least three times. Before, when I used the cleanser directly from the tube, it used to come for a month, a month and a half. But now this comes for six months, so which is fantastic. This cleanser has probiotics and turmeric. And turmeric, if you don't know, is very good for your skin and for your health. And this cleanser leaves your skin super soft after using it. It doesn't dry it out. And that's what I add absolutely love about it once i've rinsed this off i use a face mask now to rinse it off i just use regular cool water and today i'm going to be using the vitamin c face mask by pure by priyanka every day it's a different face mask i try not to repeat a face mask within a week because just like we like variety our skin also expects that i think it likes variety so i just give it something different every day and I can clearly tell my skin is enjoying it. And to apply it, I'm using a silicone spatula. These come in very handy. I leave it on for about 10 minutes, maximum 15 minutes. And then I rinse it off again with just cool water. And I'm going to be super honest with you. Sometimes I don't feel like applying a face mask either because I'm too tired or it's too late. So I cut it short and I skip this step. But I try to apply a face mask at least four to five times a week. So now we're done with a cleanser and applying a face mask. And there's one final step that I follow, which is probably the most important step. 
I use a tretinoin cream prescribed by my dermatologist. This is a topical medicine and it's commonly used to treat acne, but it also helps with fine lines, wrinkles, as well as any sun damage that you have on your face. All you need is very little. I use a pea size to apply it in affected areas. What this does is it replaces your old skin with new skin. During the first couple weeks, I took it slow. I just used it every other day. And you can see your skin literally peeling off and the new skin forming. It's very strong, so go slow on this for the first couple weeks. And then when your skin starts getting used to it, my dermatologist recommended that I can use it every single day. There are also non-prescription retinols that work equally well, and I'm going to link those in the description box below. But I would ask you to read reviews and do your research and make sure it suits your skin type before you buy it. That's pretty much it. I just use the tretinoin on my face. I don't use a moisturizer or an under eye cream. I just want to leave this alone on my face. The only other thing I use is a lip balm. That sums up my simple nighttime routine. So it's a cleanser, it's a face mask and tretinoin and it's time to hit the bed. It's next day morning, which means it's time for my morning routine. The first thing that I do is cleanse my face. I have the foam from last night, but I'm just going to press it a little bit more to make it a little bit more frothier and foamier, if that's a word. And then I'm going to very generously massage it on my face for about a minute or two. I rinse this off, pat my face dry, and then use a moisturizer or a hydrating serum. Today I'm going to be using the Essence. This is by Tatcha. I just take a palmful and press it onto my skin. This is infused with Japanese superfoods and it suits all skin types and helps with dryness, dullness as well as uneven skin texture. Now is when I use a soothing eye cream. If you've been following me for a while, you know there's only one that I use, the Tatcha Silk Peony. So that's what I'm going to use. I just take a little bit in the back of my hand and I apply it with my ring finger. The last step in the process is to use a sunscreen. Today I'm going to be using the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Sunscreen. This has an SPF of 50. I use a very generous amount and when I say generous amount you'll see in a bit. I just use a generous amount all over my face and neck. And because I use a lot I follow this one trick. The way I'm going to let it absorb in my skin is I apply it like a face mask and let it sit there for about two to three minutes and it'll settle on the skin beautifully and after that I just massage it in and that's pretty much it. That's my morning skincare routine including a cleanser, a hydrating serum or a moisturizer and finishing up with a sunscreen. So those were my easy nighttime and morning routines. So I make it simple so it's very easy to follow it every day when it's like a 10 step process, 20 step process. I just don't feel like doing it. So I keep it simple and manageable. So that has helped me be consistent with my skincare routine. But there's one other thing that I do. I drink a green juice every morning and I feel like that has really helped me to just improve my health and my skin overall. I add as many green vegetables as possible and I just juice it and with the pulp I make a soup later on Uh, but I drink a whole glass of juice in the morning. I'm going to include the recipe in the description box below so do check that out. That's pretty much it my friends. I hope you found this useful. It was a very realistic skincare routine and something that is easy to follow and I hope you felt the same way. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to watch more skincare videos and if you're new here please consider subscribing. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys!